Hey everybody, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Today we're going to be going over kind of an interesting video, kind of a fun video. At least, I think it's going to be fun and interesting. Y'all might hate it, which is fine. Um, <laughs> but anyways, today we're going to be going over all the blue knives in my collection. As you might know if you've been watching my channel for a while, I love blue, and I love blue knives. Usually if there's a blue option for a knife, I will get the blue option. Um, so, uh, I do have quite a few blue knives, I'll be honest, it's not as much as I thought it would be, which is a little bit surprising, and some people at the end of the video might be like, wow, that was way too many, but we're gonna roll with it anyways. As you can tell, this is not one of my blue knives. Uh, I was looking through my collection, and I realized that the, th the three most prominent colors in my collection were blue, black, and gray. I'm not going to be doing videos about all my black and silvery gray knives because, I mean, let's be honest, most knives are, are, are that color and there's a lot of knives that just come in blacks or silvery grays and you don't really get a, a choice with it. So we're just going to be going over blue knives. I will not do a collection of a, a update on my, uh, on my other colors. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Oh, this is the Best Tech uh, Horus, by the way. Great knife. Okay, so, disclaimer, this video is not going to be final. These, there will be more blue knives in my life. I can guarantee you that right now. But let's jump right in and let's start off with this. This is a Case Stockman. And I believe, what is it? There, look at that prettiness. This is a patriotic stockman. Um, this is a special knife for me because my father got me this for Christmas one year. And he had he got himself a matching one and he got my grandfather one. And uh, that's pretty awesome. It's just a pretty neat thing. Love the colors here. Case always does great. Great handle colors. Of course, you know, since it's a stockman, you have your different blades. You have your clip point main blade, spade point, uh, pin blade, and then your sheep's foot utility blade. So that's awesome. My grandfather, my dad, and I, we all have the same same initials, GBK. And so it's, it's interesting that, you know, we, we, we have uh, some matching, some matching stuff like this, but love that knife. Uh, I do like traditionals. I don't collect as many traditionals as I maybe would guess that I would, just knowing myself, but I do like traditionals quite a bit. Next, let's go to, uh, we'll save Savivi for later. Uh, here, here we go. This is the Best Tech Swordfish. I love this knife, love this knife. And and honestly, I, I, I love Best Tech in general. I need to get more Best Tech knives, and I need to get uh, more blue ones. Uh, this is just, this is a great knife, very smooth. Great action. Big knife. It's a big knife. But uh yeah, I love it. We will try to go through these as quickly as possible. I'll just I'll just talk a little bit about each, uh, if I can resist. Um next, let's go on to, to this knife here. This is the CH knives. Da, 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 da. What is the number on you? G10-3511. Um how about this knife pretty early on into my uh, knife collecting career? And uh, it, it, it's an interesting knife. It, it's interesting. I love the, the look, and it kind of gives off like a 70s like type vibe. I like orange a lot, and blue and orange together. It's like, hey, there we go. One thing about this knife that, that that's really weird is... I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it does have a little bit of up and down blade play. And that's because... I cannot find a stop. I don't know what holds this guy from going all the way back. There might be a little teeny tiny internal stop pin. I don't know. I haven't ever taken this guy apart. Maybe I should take him apart sometime and solve that mystery, but pretty good little action. Decent ergos. Um, yeah, this is a CH, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, next, my Hogue Decca. I love this knife so much. 
Oh, it's so smooth. 20 CV blade steel. Great action. Hogue does a better crossbar lock, lock than Benchmade, which is a sad truth, but great, great knife. Really, really love this guy. And I guess I'll... There you guys go. There, take a good look. For any of you that haven't seen one of those. And since we did that guy, let's jump right into my bug out. Yeah, this was probably the, this was, in fact, it was the first high-end, high-end uh, production knife I ever bought. I just heard everyone gushing about the, you know, the bug out. And so I jumped on and got one and they made it in blue. Um, I will probably be getting a, uh, another bug out one of these days, such as the S90V carbon fiber one with the blue backspacer that just came out. But, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty iconic knife. Um, I did carry this guy for a long time. I don't carry him that much anymore, but I do use him as a size comparison knife. Uh, don't really like the, the Grivery or Grivex or whatever they use handles, but it is what it is. Um, from that, let's go on to, actually, let's go on to another knife I got very early on in my, uh, when I was getting interested in the EDC community and not just carrying a, a, a pocket knife. When I started getting interested in caring about what made a knife good, at least, this is the Kubi Flash. Um, back when I bought it, it didn't have a name. It was just the Kubi number, number, number. This is the Kubi Flash. I got this for like 25 bucks. G10, D2. Nice blade. This is a big knife, actually. And this action... It is so good. And look at that. I, I didn't even hit the flipper tab right, and it deployed, but yeah. Great knife. Really comfortable. I mean, you look at it, and you're like, is that going to be comfortable? And it is. It's very comfortable. And uh, I love this knife a lot. Great, great knife. Clip is um not my favorite part of the knife, but other than that, great knife. Uh, here we go. Steel Will Modus. I had a cut jack for a little while. It was, um, I think it was an OD green, or maybe it was just a black cut jack. I can't remember. Uh, like that knife a lot. Then I saw the Steel Will Modus with uh, this blue and this very bright backspacer. So I got one. Bye bye, cut jack. Uh, yeah, he'd been replaced by the blue boy. I don't know, if, do they make a blue cut jack? If they do, I might get another one. But uh, I like the cut jack a whole lot. But this is a this is a really nice knife. Love the modus, uh, even though these plat these, these handles are are plasticky. Um, the one I almost got was with the gray G10 and the blue back spacer. But I don't know. There's just something. It's just such a weird kind of color. It, it, it's fun. Um, so yeah, love that sheep's foot D2 blade, and running on washers. It's a good flipping action for washers. Um, where do we want to go next? Oh yeah, here we go. Let's go here. QSP Penguin. This is the Denim Micarta. This knife is still relatively new to me. I've had it for a month. And as you can see, when I first got him, he was pretty gray, but he is, uh, you know, as oils of my hand work into him and stuff, he's turning a nice blue. I love this Denim Micarta that QSP is using. And this is just a, a great knife in general. I Honestly, this knife doesn't see that much pocket time. What it does see is room to room time where I'll pick this guy up in like my bedroom and go outside to, or like, you know, go into the kitchen to open something. And then I'll just set him there on the counter. And if I have to open something else in the kitchen, there he is, I'll open that. Take him into the living room to open something. Even if I do have a, a, a knife in my pocket. In fact, today I've been carrying the, the, the Horus, which I love. But this guy was just kind of sitting around places. And I just grabbed him to cut stuff. So great, great knife. I really love this guy a lot. And sticking with the QSP theme. This is the QSP Hawk. This is one of my f most favorite knives. It has 14C28 blade steel, which I absolutely love. Great looking drop point blade. And these handles. Oh, look at these. These are blue micarta. Not denim micarta. This is just dyed... And probably a canvas, it looks like, micarta. But man, I just, I love it. This is, ugh, 
is a great knife. And it has multiple deployment methods. Very snappy action. This one's on bearings, unlike the Penguin, which is on copper washers. This is just, mmm. Mmm. Love that knife. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Now we're trucking along pretty good now. Um, here we go. Let's go to this guy. This is the Tangram Vector. Um, I love this knife. I, I, I love this knife. 30 bucks for a button lock knife that is actually worth a damn. It's, it's great. Um, aluminum scales. When I first saw pictures of this guy on Amazon, I thought these were plastic scales just from the pictures. I remember getting this guy, opening him, grabbing him, and it, I got this guy during the winter time. I think it was somewhere around December. I got him out. I was like, wow, you're not supposed to be cold. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Just a great, great knife. I'm not sure if that story made any sense. He was colder than I thought he would be because aluminum gets colder than plastic. Anyways, that was stupid. <laughs> but great action. This is running on washers, but it has a very nice action, especially for $30. And uh, yeah, they also have a black version, but I don't know why anyone would ever get the black version of this. I mean, the blue version shows off those swoopy lines just so well. This is a really pretty knife, honestly. If, but if, if I'd never discovered this knife and someone came in and handed it to me and said, how much? I would have said, oh man, uh, at least, at least 120. And, and I'll be honest. And then, you know, look at the blade steel. It's that Japanese uh, Akuto 440 or whatever, which actually isn't bad. But um, yeah, and actually this is a very lightweight knife considering it does have steel liners under the aluminum they are pretty milled out but very nice knife love this guy whole bunch um should we start digging into some civivis <laughs> sorry this guy this is the exarch great great knife uh this is actually the very first civivi i ever bought however uh due to some shipping issues and delays and stuff I didn't get this guy till about seven months after I bought him, at which case, and at which point I'd accumulated some more Civivis. But um, man, I do love this knife. I'm a sucker for knives that disappear almost completely into the handles. Uh, I love that look. I don't know. I just, there's just something about it that I love, and especially with the, the top flipper like that. I, I don't know. I just, it's very satisfying to me. Great clip. I carry this guy a lot as well as a secondary and a primary carry. Uh, I've carried him a couple times in like a, in a suit as a kind of like the, the CRKT CEO was supposed to be carried, you know, pretending it's a pin. Um, just, I love this knife a whole lot. So maybe these G10 is not my favorite, but you know what? It does kind of give the knife a little bit of a, a, of a playful type vibe. And I've, in my experience, this knife isn't really that threatening to people who are maybe not the biggest fans of knives. We'll say it like that. So the Savivi Exarch. Love that knife. Love it a whole lot. Sticking with, with the Savivi theme, here's the Praxis. I love this knife so much. This is a great knife. Great knife. Um, I mean, what else? <laughs> it's the Praxis. Comfortable. It's big. You can choke up. Great blade. Slicey like Civivi does them. It's got that good Civivi action. Great knife. Great knife. You know, I did a battle to the death between these two. And I did give the win to the bat to the, the swordfish. I stand by that. I like the swordfish better. But this is, this is definitely one of my favorite uh, budget knives of all time. And yes, you'll notice most of these knives are budget knives, with the exception of like the the uh, Deca and the, the Bug Out and a couple of other ones that might pop up here in a little bit. But just because I'm kind of a, I, I'm more of a budget dude. I don't mind spending a little extra on a knife. I just have to save up quite a bit before I do. Um, do we have any more Civivis? I could have sworn I had so Oh, I don't know what I'm thinking of. Here's, this is the Civivi. Fracture. Um, these were a kind of limited edition one. 
Uh, you can still buy some of these as at the time that I'm recording this, which is February of 2021. But um, yeah, great knife, good ergos. It's a slip joint. I got this guy um, after the, the first fracture I got was actually, do I have them laying around? Yeah. I actually bought the, uh, the Tanto fracture first, you know, when I thought they were going to be limited edition. I just like the idea of kind of a tactical slip joint. It's kind of a conundrum that I found a little bit humorous. But after I saw that they were available for a lot longer, I went and bought this blue one. And this guy, knife's a little bit special to me. Uh, that 321-2019, that is my girlfriend and I's anniversary. So, got it engraved on a knife. She stuck with me now. You know, that's how you know it's a, that's how you know it's meant to be, is when you, when you go ahead and engrave it on a knife. Forget tattoos, you know, just engrave it on a knife. For a knife guy, that's when, that's when the relationship is past a point of no return. <laughs> that's what I always tell my girl. But, um, yeah, really cool little knife. Um, the reason I thought there was more blue Civivis is because I used to have a blue Elementum, got rid of him to get my wooden one, and then I was going to get a blue Odium, but I got the black one for some reason instead. I'll probably go back and get a blue Odium one these days. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and look at this guy. Yep, the Gerber Flatiron, the D2 and Blue Micarta version. I love this knife. I love this knife. Um, if you know the channel, you know my history with the uh, with the flat iron. Uh, this is one of the knives that got me into collecting knives. I bought one before I went to college. Beat the crap out of it. Enjoyed it a bunch. Had a lot of adventures with it. And then I realized that there was better stuff out there. Came out with this version. I was like, yes, please. It's blue. Knocked over a flashlight over here. Sorry. It's blue. It's got D2 steel. It's just... You know, it's a flat iron design that I really like and have sentimental uh, value with. This knife is just made for me. This was this was custom made for me. <laughs> but great knife. I love this knife a whole lot. Way better than the um, than the original flat iron I had. So, yeah, good knife. Uh, let's go ahead and go on to CJRB. I've got a couple of those. This is the Gobi. Uh, this is the second Gobi I've had. Uh, they came out with, um, you know, this is the version with AR RPM 9 steel. This is the first knife I ever tried that steel out in. I love the black blade with the red backspacer and the dark blue handles. This is this is a really, really sexy knife in my opinion. And they're coming out with a uh, the black bladed AR RPM 9 feldspar, which makes me so excited. I'm going to be getting one, which brings us to the next knife. Yeah, it's a feldspar. As a lot of you know, this is one of my favorite knives of all time. Love this knife. Very comfortable. Looks just amazing. Has a lot of things I like, like a pivot collar, good access to liners, contoured scales, um, recessed liners, uh, D2 blade steel, great ergos. I just, man, this knife hits so many, so many places right for me. This is just, hmm. Hmm. You know, you, you know, so, like, you know, this knife here, this blows my skirts up. This one, it blows my skirts clear off. Uh, I'm, well, I've, I've said that now. Okay. All right. I said that. Um, <laughs> here's the, uh, here's the CJRB Feldspar. One of my favorite knives of all time. I love it. Let's move on before I say more stupid stuff. Where does that leave us? We done. Oh, here's one we can do real quick. This is the Kershaw Fraction. I got this guy for 11 bucks, and I must say, that was the best 11 bucks ever spent for a knife. Look at that action. This knife is just, yeah, 11 bucks. 11 bucks, and I, wow. I, I like this knife a lot. I really do. Um, 8 CR 13 MLB uh, blade steel, but come on, for 11 bucks, that's okay. That's where 8 CR is okay. Is at the 11 dollar price point. This is, uh, this is, this knife is a uh, is a who. I love it. Um, 
Sticking with the Kershaw theme, this knife, whoops, isn't exactly blue, but it has a blue accent, so I included it. Love the blue accents. This is the Kershaw Highball. Um, oh, come on. Whatever. <laughs> if you're not familiar already, I love this knife. This is this is one of, if not my favorite Kershaws. Um, great knife. Good ergos. Classy knife. Looks amazing. S hides away really good. Slice as well. D2 blade steel. Steel frame lock. They're coming out with an XL version this year. I'm going to be getting that. I have a feeling I like that knife a lot too. But that is the Kershaw Highball. Very, very nice knife. Big fan. Uh, moving on, let's do another one that, uh, another knife that's just kind of got blue accents. Uh, this is the Ganzo Firebird F750. Um, this is my first ever Ganzo. I only have two uh, right now. Uh, Ganzo is one of those brands, well, Ganzo is a brand that I avoided for a long time because they had a lot of copy designs. At least they weren't trying to, you know, clone anyone. But um, some of their original designs really do kind of appeal to me. This was one of them. Uh, and now the access slot patent expired. They're free to use it, which they were already doing, but, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, like this knife a lot. Very comfortable. Really good action. Uh, and, yeah, you have, like, these blue... Uh, you've got blue screws, uh, blue pivot, and blue thumb studs. All things that I like. Blue, blue, blue. Okay. Uh, let's move on to... We're almost done here. My PM2. You guys see this in basically every video because it is one of my size comparison knives. We're going to adjust the camera just a hair. There we go. So, a lot of you know with a PM... You know, my story with the PM2... Uh, when I first got into collecting, I accidentally bought a clone. Felt bad about it. So I went and I bought this PM2. This is the S110V version with the blurple scales. I bought, you know, this is about 185 bucks. It's about you know, 30, 40 bucks more expensive than the regular PM2. Uh, and the reason I decided to buy this version is, one, because of blue scales. And two, just because I felt bad for buying a Spyderco clone. I wanted to give back to Spyderco as much as possible, uh, if that makes sense. But... Uh, I love this knife. As you can tell, I use this knife a lot. I beat the heck out of this knife. Uh, I know S110V can be a little chippy. I know that when I sharpen this guy, it's not going to be fun. There's a lot of times where I'll be using this guy, like back back home on, on the ranch, I'd use this guy for something and be like, this is stupid. If you chip this blade, you are never going to be able to fix it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I know. Keep using it. The PM2 is just so good. <laughs> And it is. It's a real workhorse of a knife, and I, I love the PM2 very, very much. I know some people, you know, it's getting a little bit stale for some people, but I just, I love it a whole lot. It's a, it's a great knife. And they're coming out with a Crewware Micarta version this year. Might get that too, but we'll see. Love the PM2. Love the PM2. Okay. We've only got two left. So first one is this little knife that I bought a while ago. It, yeah, as you can see, it's like kind of got a gradient. Uh, titanium. Uh, kind of a weird little knife. Um, yeah. Let's see if I can still do this. I used to be able to just reverse flick this guy with my left hand. Let's see if I can do this under a camera. Uh, I figured out a way to do this, but yeah, not going to work. Anyways, um, interesting little knife. Uh, I do carry this sometimes as a backup knife. In fact, um, a little, a little while ago, I was in a, a chemistry lab and we were doing an, exp an, a, a, an experiment with freezing point depression and which is not as sad as it sounds. Um, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. And so one of the things we were experimenting, one of the, the substances we were using was, um, oh, just flew my mind, uh, dodecanic acid. 
and um, which has a freezing point of like, I think it's like 40 degrees Celsius or something like that. Room temperature, basically. And so I spilled uh, spilled some in my, my, my partner, we spilled some on the desk. And so it, you know, instantly froze into these, these big puddles. And I pulled this guy out to scrape it off, but cool little knife, pretty, pretty nice. Um, and the last one is this, which is a knife I bought around the same time as that guy, not knowing that I, that this is a knockoff of a, uh, custom knife by, ooh, I can't remember who, but, um, yeah, whoops, it's a cool little knife, um, there we go, uh, it's fairly useful for different things, but, you know, once again, it's a, uh, this one's a full-on, well, not a full-on clone because I don't have a label like that. But this is a, a another knife that's a that's a copy. Can't remember what company makes this, but yep, there's that guy. So, woo. Um, and that's all my blue knives. <laughs> I thought there would be a lot more. I really did, but uh, I guess not. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. One thing, there were there weren't that many. There weren't very many titanium frame locks that were blue. Yeah, I know. Honestly, blue titanium frame locks, people don't really make that much of. But I will say, blue knives in the future, what am I looking at? I am going to anodize some titanium frame locks blue. And one of them I thought about is doing uh, is this guy. Not this exact one. I'll probably get a new one. This is a Tucson TS-49. Uh, I think this would look good with blue anodization. I might do that. Who knows? We'll see. Whoops. Ah, there we go. Under the camera blues. But might get one of those guys to anodize blue. I will be getting more blue knives. 100%. In fact, one knife that I've been... I have this guy, but I've been eyeballing the blue one for a long, long time. Do I need it? No. Do I want one? Yes. Just just because I'm weird. Um... Another thing, a lot of you might know my favorite knife ever is the Cold Steel 8015. I have often wanted to get a, this is the 8015 Lite, by the way, just got this guy recently. Um, I've been looking to get like uh, blue scales, and especially for the light, because of this black bar, I think it'll look good with some blue scales. If I ever get a custom Andrew Dimco, I probably want it to be blue. Um, if I ever get an XM18, I'd do something blue with it. Uh, other blue knives in the future. Um, I'll probably do some some writ dyeing some knives blue. All right, so looking at all my blue knives, I'm going to be mean to myself. What are my top five favorites? Oh, I hate doing this to myself. I, I hate picking five. It makes me feel like I'm going to offend some of these knives. Um, the feldspar is going to have to be one of them, I just know. Oh man, this is tough. Um, the deca is going to be one. The PM2 is going to be one, just because I, I use them a whole lot. Mm, yeah, the swordfish. Definitely, I love the swordfish. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Ah, okay. Okay, here's what I'm stuck, stuck with now. Kershaw Highball. QSP Hawk. Gerber Flatiron. You know what? This knife doesn't have enough blue, so we're gonna we're gonna. But I have them on the table. No, we're gonna put them over there. We're gonna put them over there. Okay, okay. These two, oh, man. Like as far as a knife goes, I like this guy a little bit better, but I have a lot of sentimental value with this guy. 
Oh no. Eeny meeny miny no, I'm just kidding. Um but actually on second thought, eeny meeny miny mo will catch a tiger by his toe if he can always make it pay fifty dollars every day. My mom told me to pick the very best one and you are it. Nah, we're gonna go with the <laughs> we're gonna go with the hawk. I really love I really love this knife a whole lot. So, there you go. An overview of my collection of blue knives. There will be more coming. This video will be updated in the future. Stay tuned. In the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, in fact, let me know down below what was your favorite knife from my blue knives collection. If you'd like to see me do an entire collection update, I might do that maybe i don't know um but uh what's your favorite color knife to collect uh anyways i've been gideon stuff and i'll see you in the next video out